Yeah, there it is. What's going on with you? Keeping it real with Rami. Back at you again. Uh, I'm starting to incorporate some music into the videos more now, if you didn't notice. Uh, let's talk about it. What, what have I been doing? Uh, making a lot of Moorish wisdom videos. Just getting into the spiritual uh, aspect of things. Um, you know, it feels good. You know, I've been... Um, I've been working on a plantation a lot, man. You know, a couple jobs. Uh, you know, and just um, trying to maintain, make it through this uh, this rough patch I'm going through. But uh, all is well. All is good. Life is amazing. Um, it's a lot going on in this world right now. You know, uh, in the U.S. with Trump and Hillary and the shenanigans of Bernie trying to back Hillary and Jill Stein having a solution but ain't nobody trying to hear and ain't none of them talking about nationality so you know what it is but um what else we got going on ah that's what I wanted to talk about yeah I'm not let me turn this music off real quick get folks shout out to uh, Dom Kennedy by the way it's, that's what this uh, instrumental is from um Yo, so with the all of the quote unquote terrorist attacks going on and the police murders and the genocide, you know, going on, um, it's been a few or it's been a report specifically of uh Gavin Long, the dude I forget where which which uh city he was from or whatever, but was saying that he was somehow was it Gavin Long? I may have misspoken, so excuse me if it wasn't Gavin Long, but the brother Cosmo something something um, is connected, you know, with the shootings and was said to be connected with the Moorish um, movement and the Moorish national, quote unquote, um, which is bogus, you know, it's completely bogus. But what it did um, validate and confirm again for me is one um, that we that is very important that we move with love and that we stand on that principle and we make sure that we let people know that that's what Moors are about um, because when we do that uh, we eliminate the idea or even the possibility of them trying to associate Moors with terrorists um, you know, that we love instead of hate. That we know if we harm another, we are harming our lot. And so we don't harm another. Uh, you know, we need to live and stand and um, and really represent that. And not just in words, and you know, but really in action. Um, and we also need to make it very clear that we are not sovereign citizens. And that we're not connected to that in any way. You know, and... That even gets into the idea of us not having to pay taxes and us not being under the same jurisdiction um, as U.S. citizens or, no, held to the same laws necessarily as the U.S. citizens um, or certain laws, statu uh, statutes and codes, etc. Um, it's really important that we know the law and we know the difference between um, statutes, codes, uh, you know, rules and actual laws, things that are legal and things that are lawful, um, constitutionally, you know, um, and not just what some policy enforcer tells you. Um, man, it's a lot going on in my head right now, but, um, that I did want to speak on that, you know, just because. I see the propaganda that's going on, um, especially in the mainstream or the corporate news, and I see that so-called black people, especially quote-unquote black Muslims or um, you know anything that's connected to that, is being um, it's being set up to frame um, our people as domestic terrorists, and all of the 
things that we have been seeing going on in the East. Um, I don't like to say Middle East because there's no Middle East, just like there's no Middle West, or Middle South, or Middle North. Um, but all the wars and all the killing and all the corruption and the tyranny that the U.S. has been bringing um, to other people all over the world with drone strikes and just all the war and the, the chaos and the mayhem, they're going to be bringing that back here to America um, and unleashing that on us, the Americans. Uh, Moorish Americans to be exact so it's really important that you know we proclaim who we are and we let people know who we are and we live up to those principles and yeah so enough of that um, well on that principles this is right here we also need to be studying this man because um, you know, it teaches us the Quran. It teaches us that um, just how Jesus had John, you know, that came through and let the people know, you know, Jesus was coming, Jesus on the way, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we had Marcus Garvey who came through and let the people know, yo, it's some, it's somebody coming, you know, that's really gonna be able to, you know, set things straight. But this is what you guys gotta do. This is how you run it. This is the foundation, lay the blueprint. Um, and we need to study what what he laid down, especially his business, um, his business ventures and structures, because uh, we're severely lacking in that area, and uh, we must do for ourselves. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of vibing right now. I took a nap earlier, and so I got plenty of energy. I think I may have even said that on this video or another video. I'm a little confused and a little wired, but. It's all love. Um, yeah, I think that's it for right now. Oh, snap. It's before the seven minutes, so I got to go. Peace, 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 peace.